Welcome back to the Sometimes Builds. Today we are putting in a fence here at Uncle Charlie's cabin. Um, it is a cheap style fence, inexpensive style fence. Um, he started the process already. He's put in a bunch of 6 by 6s and 4 by 4s Some of them concreted in, some of them not. Um, but we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish this today. He says, along with all the posts and all the uh, the side planks. Join us. <laughs> Good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome back to the channel. As I said, today we are at Uncle Charlie's cabin and we are putting in a fence. Never done that before. Never used an auger on the back of a tractor before, but today's the day. He has already gotten started with it, so he went and he made these holes all around the area that he wants to make a fence at. So we're going all the way around here and all the way up there. Um, putting in a gate, putting in a gate here, and I think putting in a gate right here, I think. Um, he was quoted, I think, about 20000 17000 to put in a fence. And looking at the parts and the stuff we need, it was, I think, 4000 to do it ourselves. So, you know how we do. We are doing it ourselves. So, last time he was here, when I was in the Outer Banks, um, he went and used the, used the auger and made these holes. Some of them are concreted in, so they're, they're good and ready. Um, he said we're going to do about every other will be concreted in, um, except if it's a, like a major six by six post. Uh, so this six by six concreted in, concreted in, concreted in, like the cornerstones are going to be concreted. However, when he was here doing this, it downpoured. You can kind of see there's a bunch of runoff. All of these holes are kind of filled, so we're going to have to come through with the auger and just clean these out a bit all the way around to all of these. So that's gonna be the pro the first part of this process is dig out these holes again, get the four by fours and six by sixes in, then get them all level, plumb, blah, blah, blah. And then we can um, lock them in. As you see, all of these are so they're level. And then we can start putting up fencing boards and the, uh, I think it's like a metal hog mesh. Thinking about where to put the trailer. Yeah. It might just be easier if I go up and around and come down. Just leave it on the driveway up there? Or as he said, right in the middle and we just make sure we move it before we... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the extra 10 steps it's going to take to, you know, carry from, like, the driveway down with another person is not going to do anything. Yeah. So the 6 by 6s are the heaviest thing. We don't need to put any more 6 by 6s in. So... In the bags, but... Yeah. It's easier to walk downhill with the bags than yeah. uphill. I almost think I'll just drive up around and come down in front of the driveway. All right, move that trailer. Just lift it all the way up. And this is yours? Yeah, it's one out of the box. Cool. Good old tractor supply. Yeah, I saw Country Lion. Hey. The only one that was around. Wow. There's no other ones around. Hmm. Got luck. Now we're at the point where we're going to take the auger on the back of here and we're going to go every, over every hole we've made and clean it up because it's been sitting two weeks now. Um, no, yeah, two weeks now, and we need to basically get all the mud out, all the rain out. It's, it's been a little nasty up here. So we're going to take this. And this is a country line auger from Harbor Freight. 
he said this was the only one in the area that they could get. They had another one, but it broke when they were doing all the holes. So the, he eventually, he just had to buy his own. That means I get a fence. Handles back in the bar. <laughs> I don't think we need it. I was wondering where I was going to put my hands at on this thing. And like, yeah. nothing on that looks safe to hold. This makes it look easy. Let's see what this looks like down here. That's gravel, all right. Just enough for it to sit on. Yeah, you're right. That does look like the kind of gravel you'd put next to your sidewalk. It does. <laughs> you sure really enough nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, you see there. It's a wobbly one. But that was the problem. Everything filled in with water. So that one, is that one solid? Yeah, that one's good. And it's not, I mean, oh. it's not filled in all the way. This will probably be okay if we tamp it down. Because there's nothing tamped down around it right now. Where's that tamper bar at anyway? Um, is it still down there? Yeah. What are we doing now, Charlie? This is like this is the wobbly one. Is there concrete down there? Yeah, so does that concrete down there? Does? Does not. Yeah. Let's say we couldn't drop hey, a little down in there. Bigger. Drop a little down in there? Yeah. Get it braced properly. That's well, I mean, it sounds like if we take off these boards, we could just pull that thing right out of the ground. <laughs> Grab the auger and make it and do it all over again. Yeah. Then again, these these boards are keeping it straight this way. Yeah, that's... So that's a nice cheat. Or you could just leave it as is and have that one post that you always called <sighs> old trusty. <laughs> there, there it is. Nice. It's good and solid. Yeah, that helps it. Shame we can't do that same to that other one. We probably can. Oh. That took a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have a lot of energy yet. <laughs> no. My gauge is not yet 100%. Oh, it's a little guy. Oh, it's kind of stuffed in the hole. With a code. You would be in concrete and never come out again. Yeah, it's like, let's, I'll save a frog. <laughs> another deed. Saved one frog after like running over 30 over the course of the whole year with the tractor. <laughs> and turtles. And turtles and mice and you know, who knows what else. So now we have to take all these two by fours off. Got 
Thank you. You're used to using a tractor for everything. $60,000 when's, when's the last time you actually used the shovel? <laughs> Before this. And then we'll shift the positioning of it so it's in line with those. Yeah, how do you make sure that the board can attach and then the board can That's attach? That's the corner one up there. See how the boards aren't attached? Uh, kind of yeah, so they're just kind of poked in there. been told is you can put like a two by four or something down the side of it. But oh, like, it at a 45. like so a little adapter. That'll be a little okay. adapter for it. But it's better for this to be. Yeah, we, we want the main things to align. Gotcha. That's also why for farm fencing, where they do funny shapes, they mm. use round posts versus square posts. That's true. But the quote for this fence being four feet tall was thirteen thousand dollars no i said 20 on the video earlier oops i said 20 on the video earlier four feet tall was thirteen thousand mm dollars -hmm. i want once a six foot tall fence we want multiple gates that was no gates no anything mm -hmm. so it's much closer to twenty thousand dollars and this is all in all in with the post hole digger i've spent four thousand dollars wow Yep, same thing. So he'll get it in and then we'll one screw in because then you can wiggle it a little bit. So in the bubbles. The second screw that keeps it from moving? Yeah. That's why I was standing here wondering, I'm like, yeah, this keeps it level, but what's to keep that from just yep. kicking out? First so screw. it's perfectly level now. You can put it on and it'll just be dead on. Dead on. Huh. This board's a little warped, but yeah, it's in there. Yeah, you get what you don't pay for. So, uh... <laughs> It's a farm fence. This I, is that's a exactly, fence. exactly. The purpose of this fence. This Cheap looks, and easy to hold the dogs in. By the way, I feel like we're going to like... <laughs> or, or have some <laughs> zombie whore come busting. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see what technique he just used to crack that in half like that. So I don't see a knife in his hand. Oh. So now it's just hose and... Yeah, we'll need to... I figured that neon green was good for out here so we don't accidentally run it over, crush it, cut it. Yeah, I love that, that hose. But they're horrible when you leave them outside. They turn like moldy and gray. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. This one does not have gravel in it. Hose is on. How's this one? <laughs> no, you know what? There's gravel. It's just... Yeah, I almost don't know if there's gravel in it. Let's go. Where's my phone? Oh, you feel like we're on the ground with it. So this thing. isn't a concrete, this is just dig it out, get it level, drop the dirt. And adjust this a little bit. Because we're going that way. Oh, we're twisted? Just a little bit. as we do it but you keep adjusting it and then hey look a tractor on a trailer on a you haul in life mm -hmm. that's a 
big brush on it. My tamper wouldn't have worked in this situation. Too, too wide? Too yeah, it's meant for we yeah, a wide dispersal, not targeted. Well, we finally made it. This is the last, the last four by four after all of those, not those, not those here. And we didn't feel like cutting this board. Last but not least, I think this is what a Spartan spear felt like. <laughs> Maybe, maybe a few extra pounds. I don't know, I feel like that's why they're all so buff in the movie, because they're throwing, away, throwing 40 pound spears at everybody. Concrete man. Ready for some sauce? Mm. Ooh, they have some uh, squishy noises. All right, Charlie, all the posts are in. What are we doing now? So we're gonna mock up with the lateral pieces of it. So I'll have to drop the pallet of the concrete so we can pick up the pallet of wood. And we'll just tack them up where we can. That way we'll give some extra structuring to the boards while we're not here. So the bottom board is a two by four off the ground. That's how it is. Literally two by four, you can see it. There's there, there's one there. So I'm thinking. I just do the same. So I did this and uh, I tipped over the um, concrete. We're gonna have the boss do this instead. Cause I'm a rookie and I don't know what I'm doing. And let's be clear, this is an extreme angle. Like I'm trying to simulate what a uh, level is. So I guess that's why he's kind of pushing it because we are we are at a big angle right now. See, this is why I play with the camera and he plays with the trackers. Now we're dropping off the pallet of concrete and we're gonna pick up these all of these boards for the uh, fencing because we're gonna use pretty much all of them or a good portion of them. It's a weight difference. Look at this bounce. It's not so bad because you're going to be coming up it and you can go more straight. The other direction would not be good. Now we're going to lower the mower to lower the center of gravity a bit. And cut while he's out there. How's it going? So far, so good. That is a mighty fine fence right there. It really freaking is. I'm sick to know what we were doing. I feel like this is better than good enough. This is good. Yeah. This is great. I mean, the next thing will be just getting in here and 
adjusting everything. Plus these will have to come off, we'll have yeah. to cut them. And the, the, the final, this is just yeah. to keep all of the 4x4s tied together, right? Because yeah. we put on the, the metal stuff first, yeah, and then we put the boards top back top on top. Because yeah. that holds it to it. Hmm. I'll probably get like a, one of those hammer staplers. Hmm. Well, that is going to be a wrap for this video. This fence is looking fantastic. Thanks to Sam and Melvin for coming down to make this fence look amazing. So, thank you for the help. I had a blast. Me too. Me too. So, if you like this kind of content, subscribe down below. Drop a thumbs up. Any questions for Uncle Charlie, drop them down below. See you next time. Peace. Yeah!